So I embarked on this journey, all right, to find a proper quick release system that worked for me. Okay, so you got Peak Design with that tripod, that quick release system, and then you got, you know, DJI with their RS2 and RS3, they have their quick release system, they have the Arca Swiss, and then you have other Arca Swiss, and then you have Tilta with theirs and Small Rig, and they just don't talk, but they don't, they don't communicate, they all good, but when you wanna move things from other things and things over here and things over there, when you're a very versatile shooter, it's really hard to get things to work out because all of these pieces don't talk to each other. And it's always so frustrating because I have to sit there and finagle things when I'm, oh, I wanna go to a tripod to, to my slider, or I wanna go from that slider to a gimbal, and it was just like, this, it has to be another way. So with a little diligence, a little research, and a little patience, I was able to find this quick release system by Ulanzi, AKA Falcon. So that quick release system allows me to take my camera and go to my gimbal, take that and go to my cinema rig, and take that and go to my slider. All right, it makes it so much easier, and you can get it done in like, in like a millisecond, and that makes my life so much easier because I, I already have enough stress going on, you know? So this base plate system has two components, obviously the piece that you keep underneath your camera, then the other piece you can attach to anything you want. That includes the base plate of your cinema rig, that includes the ball head of your slider. And the other thing is Falcam makes a base plate for your DJI RS2 or RS3, you know, just for the gimbal, okay? So we're gonna go through those really quickly. Also, I like to add some of these pieces to my Manfrotto tripod base plates. So let me show you how it works, it's very easy. There is an auto lock feature on this here quick release system. All you have to do, slide it on, it's on there as you can see. The cool feature is all you have to do is press this button at the bottom, from there you can go over to something like your slider, okay? So I'm gonna go to my slider, same idea, all you have to do is fit it on, boom, it is on there, okay? Also, think about it, I can go from that slider and go over to my DJI RS3. So when I take it off of the slider, it slides on differently here, okay? The way it slides on on the RS3 is actually, you know, going from the side instead of, you know, vertical that way. What am I doing? Hand motions and all, here we go. Also, the button, instead of it being on the side like these, is actually in front, you know, where the camera is going to be pointing, but it's the same principle. Instead of sliding it, you know, forward, you're gonna slide it to the side, boom. Same idea, it's locked on there, okay? It's there, it's doing this thing. Cool thing about that, all you have to do, if you wanna use that base plate, say for instance, you wanna use that tripod plate on a tripod, same idea, all you have to do is just slide that bad boy off and boom, you have it here too. And all you have to do when you wanna put it back on, you can put it back on that bad boy just like that, bow, slide it back on. Then when you want the camera, you can just slide it back off. Then you wanna put it back on the cinema rig, you can slide it back on the cinema rig, boom, boom, like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Y'all can't not be patient with me, okay? Boom, it's on there, golly. Being hard on me, okay? But either way, this is an incredible system. This has allowed me to be more flexible. This has allowed me to be faster because one of the things I love to use is a slider. One of the things I hate it to do, you know, on shoots or even when I'm shooting stuff for myself is, is have to finagle with the slider and the things that come with it and take this piece off the slider and then put it at the bottom of the camera. It, it was just a lot to deal with. This quick release process has made my life a little bit easier and I hope it makes yours a little bit easier too. So this is a quick one, quick video, quick tip, but I hope it's tons of value in it for you, okay? So links will be down below, you know, so you can buy not only, you know, not only the, the quick release pieces to add to your, you know, whatever rigs you want to add to, but also the plate for the RS2 and RS3. Trust me, they work very well. They've added a lot of value in my life. So I hope that helps you all. Please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. And I will see you on another video just like this, going through rigs, going through lighting, going through just various things that help me in my creative process. So I wanna take this moment at the end of this video to show you this, this Sherpa, because right now, cuts 25 to 50% off Black Friday sale is live. Please hit that link down below. Go ahead and get you some cuts. I know some of you have been looking at some of this stuff, and right now it's the perfect time to get some for yourself. Or if you think about a gift, get a gift for somebody, okay? It'll be a perfect gift for a girl or a guy in your life, okay? So go ahead ahead, hit that link down below, 25 to 50% off site-wide cuts. And I appreciate cuts for supporting this channel thus far. I hope you all have a great holiday season. Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing to your boy. And I hope to see y'all in the next video. I love y'all.